Hi guys, a lot of updates. I'm currently sick and I have been for like the past week and a half, which is why there has been like no new videos and why this dream plan with me is really delayed. The last video that I actually like filmed recently was the video where I talked about my health issues, both like my chronic health issues and my mental health issues. And I just wanted to say thank you guys so much for all of the love on that video. I don't think you guys understand how much the response to that video means. So thank you guys again for the love on that one and for being patient while I figure out my body and my health issues. As you can tell by my voice, it's been rough and I just like, I feel like my body's giving up on me. It's like, well, she's turning 25. Like let's give her a quarter life crisis and a health crisis, so. That is my current state. June plan with me's are usually my favorite because it is my birthday month, but this year does feel a little bit different because I'm turning 25 and that is like, seems like a big milestone to me, especially since I've been doing these plan with me videos since I was like 18 years old. So I'm gonna have to grapple with the fact that I am becoming old. But anyway, other life updates. I'm actually currently in New York City, so this is my New York City Airbnb. It's really cute. I've been living here and I've been super inspired by the art and the architecture and just like the lifestyle. I've been loving it so far. Let's get to the plan with me. This month is gonna be really cute. I think it's really cute at least. So grab your notebooks, snacks, whatever you're doing to enjoy this video and let's get started. Okay, so for this month, I was inspired by stained glass and I thought it'd be a really cool little journal theme because I actually recently went to the Met Cloisters Museum here in New York, which is a museum full of medieval art and it had these big stained glass windows and it was very magical to be in. And I was really inspired by like the bold colors and the shapes and stuff. But there's a lot of like primary colors, which you guys know I love using primary colors in my art. So art history lessons with Amanda. You know, stained glass has existed for centuries. It was in like churches, you know, in the medieval times, but also it reappeared heavily in during the time of Art Nouveau. And it focuses on just like decorative arts, interior design, architecture, and it's all about like ornamental designs, very decorative. So there was a lot of like stained glass that wasn't necessarily in the church, which is like funny because previously you would see a lot of stained glass in like churches and like buildings like that. But during the Art Nouveau period, they would bring it into things like lamps. And so I actually see that coming back a lot recently, especially on TikTok with this like rise of maximalism. There's like really cool parts about each art era. And that's what I really love about art history is you can kind of like take from different eras, like what you like and what you don't like. And that's where I get like my inspiration from recently. But I think it's kind of cool because now I'm bringing that into my bullet journals. Immediately when I got back from the museum, I had the kind of funky crazy idea to create an actual stained glass window in my bullet journal. And to do this, I thought of the idea of actually using tracing paper to simulate kind of that like frosted window look. So I'm drawing my window design straight on the tracing paper. I sketched it out and then I used my fine liner on top of it to outline the design, making sure to create those big, thick, bold outlines. And I was kind of inspired by both Art Nouveau and those more gothic church style windows. So I created this sort of pointed arched window with some floral and geometric designs inside of it. Okay, so I drew um, my stained glass window on the tracing paper and I think it turned out really well. Also, I thought I was gonna mess it up so many times, but even if you do mess it up as you're drawing on tracing paper, the good thing is you can just place another piece of tracing paper on top and trace the things that you like. So it's kind of like a foolproof method of drawing stuff. And I think I'm gonna leave some things not colored in so that I get like the little translucent window look but I'm just using the zebra mod liners for now. I mean, not for now, forever, but because that's the only thing I brought with me to New York. These things are just so versatile. So I tested it out already on the tracing paper and it doesn't smudge or anything. So that was good. I thought I was gonna have some issues where like when my 
palm went over the tracing paper, it would smudge. But the tracing paper actually like soaks up ink really well. So I actually really enjoy drawing on this paper. I feel like I want like a full sketchbook of tracing paper. I guess that's what this is. As you can see, I used my zebra mild liners to color in the stained glass window design. This actually worked really well because the mild liners are kind of translucent in nature. So um, it kind of had this like frosted effect. As you can see, I'm using mostly uh, primary colors with green and some gray and I also left some parts just completely blank because I wanted that frosted window look. I know the colors look really opaque because I'm drawing it on a pad but you'll see here once I finish you can really see that like translucent effect. So I cut around it and then I also used another piece of tracing paper to trace out the shape of the window so that I could trace that on to my bullet journal paper and see the shape of the window. So yeah, here I'm cutting out the shape of the window in my bullet journal to create an actual window in my bullet journal. Then I used this glue pen that I had to stick the stained glass window tracing paper sheet on the back of the bullet journal window hole and it created an actual window in my bullet journal, which you can see from both sides of the page. So it turned out really well. I'm really proud of myself for thinking of this method and I don't know, it's so cool. The lettering that I used for June underneath it was definitely inspired by Art Nouveau lettering. It's kind of this like swirly, wavy serif font. And I think it worked really well with the bold outlines of the window. And overall, I think this cover page turned out really cute. Oh, I also added a border around the outside eventually, but you'll see that because I felt like the outside edge just looked a little bit plain. Okay, so I finished the cover page. It took me a while because I ended up having to actually redo it because that glue stick I used, this thing, I don't know if it's like really strong glue or something like this. Maybe it's like, I don't know, like some special adhesive, but it like crinkled the tracing paper and the actual paper. So it ended up getting like really weird and like almost corroded the paper. So I literally had to redo it, but it was fine, it was really quick because again, I'm just using tracing paper. So I literally just traced my cover page. And I really like the way it turned out. I think it looks really fun, almost like uh, like a fairy tale window, like, like a Disney World type of vibe. So, so that's the current state of the union. By the way, the glue that I did end up using is this Sakura of America Quickly Quickie Glue Pen. Um, and it's just like in the shape of a literal regular pen and it actually works so well. So much better than this thing, my scotch. Sorry, scotch. This is not good for what I was currently doing because the back looks really flat. You can't even see the glue at all through the tracing paper and it worked really well for what I did. Next, I did my calendar spread, which I just did a half spread on the other side of the cover page for this month. And I created an arched border around the page to match the window on the cover page and also made sure to make that border extra thick to give it that stained glass look. And then I just added the a sort of like floral Art Nouveau design at the top and then underneath that is where I put the calendar spread. Um, in terms of the actual designs on the windows, I would just recommend looking up pictures of stained glass windows or Art Nouveau designs. found a lot of images of like floral stained glass and kind of mimicked that. So it was really fun to play around with different designs. You'll see I played around with a lot of different styles of stained glass designs throughout this entire setup. And, and yeah, it was just really fun. I think this style of drawing really suits me because I like simple designs and by nature because of the material of stained glass you know they can't do super detailed designs so it's really geometric and simplified shapes the art nouveau ones tend to use a lot more curved designs and organic shapes but i still try to incorporate some geometric shapes like this you know blocked out border around it as well so i created the calendar underneath it and then under that calendar is where i'll put any events for the month so this month we have some pretty big events like I have a bunch of friends birthdays, my birthday, I'm turning 25. I don't want to talk about it guys. This this year has been one big year of like realizations and I feel like I'm genuinely having a quarter life crisis. So if any of y'all are turning 25, 
out there as well? Can you relate? Because I just, I've, I don't know. I don't know why 25 seems like such a big deal to me. I guess it's because I can't consider myself as like early 20s anymore, especially because I've been doing YouTube for 10 years now and you know, I started when I was like in my teens and suddenly I'm 25. Like it just, it doesn't feel real, but I'll get over it. And I know in the grand scheme of things, 25 is still young. I think it's just like that number sounds so different and scary to me right now. Anyway, besides that, I have some fun trips. I, I've been in New York uh, for the past month or so, and I'm also gonna be in VidCon in June as well. So if you guys are gonna be at VidCon, let me know. So I'm just planning out the rest of my month underneath this events list. So flipping over to the other side, as you can see, you can still see the tracing paper stained glass window from the cover page and it's really seamless. Like you can't even see where I glued down the tracing paper. So it's pretty cool. I definitely wanted to incorporate that window on the other side. So this is where I created my trackers. So on the left side, I'm creating my mood tracker and I just filled the empty spaces around that tracing paper window with some more stained glass designs. And I created a border with different rectangles, which is where I will be filling in the mood. So I did the same lettering underneath the window for mood using that sort of swirly Art Nouveau lettering And I also incorporated those swirly designs above around it to decorate it This was actually inspired by Victor Horta who was a really famous artist during the time of Art Nouveau Actually while I was creating this bullet journal setup video I found an art book in my New York Airbnb about Horta's work and I was really inspired by it, which is why eventually like halfway through this spread you'll see me incorporate mo more of those swirly designs in my stained glass designs and I thought it was really interesting because in the book it mentioned that those swirly designs were really inspired by Rococo which I can definitely see the connect between between those two patterns I'll insert some reference images as well as the Japanese print the big wave by Hokusai so it's just kind of a cool connection. I never would have put those two together, especially because in my mind, I always separate like Western art with Asian art, but it's cool to see those references. Also, this is where I realized it is kind of giving like Beauty and the Beast a little bit. I think because they often use like stained glass and like this style of art with Beauty and the Beast branded things. So I kind of love that, you know, the Disney adult in me is living. So for the next page, I created my habit tracker and I actually had to trace out the window shape because I realized that the cover page window would show whatever is underneath. So I couldn't draw anything in that center area. So I used my phone as a flashlight to trace out the window shape to make sure that I wouldn't have anything in that center area. I drew the habit tracker boxes around it, so like the mini calendars that you guys are always used to seeing me do. Wrote out habits in the Art Nouveau font, and that's pretty much it. It was a pretty simple spread for habit trackers. The habits that I'm tracking this month are working out, stretching, taking my vitamins, creating more short form content, and meditation. I've actually been taking a lot more workout classes. I did pole dancing as a workout class recently, and it was such a good core workout. Highly recommend. Okay, finally, we are creating my weekly spread for this week of June. And for this one, I definitely had a lot of fun. So you'll see I created this vertical spread. I divided the page out into eight um, just because it made it easier for uh, my design if things were symmetrical. Um, but I used the lines of the stained glass to divide out those divisions in the, the days. And I also created little mini arches above the days, which is where I eventually put the number dates for 
each day. I also put Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday in that little border section above it. For this design, I went with more of a symmetrical design instead of an asymmetrical design, and I played around with the floral sort of rococo swirls, also adding a few little geometric shapes in the center, which is where I could play around with the colors once I was coloring it in. I think something that really brings the stained glass windows designs together are these borders with the long rectangles around it. That's something that I noticed a lot in my reference images. So you'll see I basically add this border around every single stained glass design that I'm doing. Underneath of the actual weekly divisions, I wanted to add more organic shapes to bring back that sort of Art Nouveau flair. So I added those swirly sort of designs and patterns, still adding some florals. And I just really love the way this turned out. It was so fun to make as well. Here are the numbers that I did. And then I just went in and colored it all in. Also, as I was coloring it in, it felt like I was coloring in a coloring book. So that was definitely fun. If I had more supplies with me, I think I would have played around with using watercolor paints to color in the stained glass design because I think that would have given it that like ripply glass effect um, and a little bit looks a little bit like translucent so I think that would be really beautiful somebody please do that so I can see how it'll turn out let me know what you guys think of these art history inspired videos and themes that I've been doing recently I know some people think art history is boring but I really think there's like a fun way that you can learn about anything and hopefully these videos has taught you guys something or inspired you to look a little bit more into a specific art history era like the Bauhaus one that I did a couple months ago was really fun for me but maybe I'll do a little mini series about art history on YouTube shorts or reels or something if that's something you guys would want to see because I've really been enjoying taking inspiration from art history for my art and my different themes as well. I think it's a fun way to switch things. All right, so here's my June 2023 setup inspired by Art Nouveau and Gothic stained glass window designs. I really like the way this one turned out and it was so fun for me to make. I've been really liking doing these art history inspired themes because it gets me to research a little bit more, learn more, and also spread this knowledge to you guys. Okay guys, so as we do the outro, here are some of your recreations from the previous month. Super cute. If you recreate last month's, this month's, any month's, if you have doodle planner, spreads please send them to me i always love seeing them and maybe you can be featured here you can tag me on instagram tiktok whatever at amanda h lee or use our hashtag little doodles hopefully next month i'll be feeling a lot better i've been really wanting to do a video where i like show you guys new york art or new york architecture but let me know if you guys have any videos you want to see me do while i'm here in the big apple or if you have any recommendations of like restaurants or whatever let me know but yeah, I think that's it. I love you guys. Please stay healthy and keep doodling. Bye everyone.